I remember this clearly. When I was a little girl, I had a dollhouse. Hours and hours I'd spend putting my dolls through whole lifetimes. Work, kids, play. All of it happened in that little house. I remember that perfectly. The rest, it's a little fuzzy. See, somehow, I left it outside for a couple of days. When I went back to play with it, wasps had built a nest in my dollhouse. It looked like a twisted apple or something. Back then it was scary, terrifying. But I remember thinking, in that little girl way, that just like my dolls, wasps needed a place to sleep too. When my stepfather got home, he burnt it all. Everything. I cried all night long. It's funny, really, how a life works. The things you try to hold on to, you try to remember, those are what you end up losing. And everything that you try to forget or throw away, those are the things that stay. Like I said, it's funny. My name is Linda, and that's Max. Max loves me. I know it's true, because sometimes he'll be freezing out, and I'll want him to look at the sunset, and he'll get all pissed because it's cold and we're hungry. But he watches it with me anyway. We've been moving around a lot, but lately, we're sticking close to the train station. There's always lots going on there. A lot of people. It's easy to disappear in all the travellers. I like that. Everybody going to that one place. Home, work, wherever it may be. The place that they want to be. The place that they should be. And I know there's a place out there for me too. And I know I'll be there someday. Maybe it's somewhere sunny. Maybe even California. future, we'll have a house with lots of food, a big dining room table, a refrigerator full of beer, wine, cokes, all of it, a bar, a TV, dishwashers, clothes dryers, stereo, home theatre, audio, video, internet, all of it, maybe even a swimming pool, it'll be fucking great. Max will have a cool job. He'll pay good. He'll come home after work and read the paper. I'll make him snacks, cocktails, whatever. Our friends will come over. We'll eat some great dinner at a huge table. It'll be warm. Maybe in California. Maybe when we're set up. friends trip. They wonder how we've stuck together for so long. It's not just because of the baby, no way. It's because we have a future. We know where we're going. It could be worse. We could be in a lot worse places. 
but I get real tired real easy. I don't tell Max, because he thinks it's because I'd rather sleep, rather dream than deal with things. But he knows. I hope it doesn't worry him. Because we both know we're going to make something happen soon. I try to think about the future. Not yesterday, not right now, but tomorrow, when we have that one place for ourselves. It's out there for us, and I'm ready. Max, too. That's one of the things that keeps us together. We both know it's not always going to be like this. this. We won't laugh, but we'll feel okay. Because we went through all this together. We watched over each other. We taught each other. We loved each other. That's family. That's what matters. And that's why I know we'll be okay. I know the world is hard and cold, and can hurt you bad. I also know it doesn't mean to. It's not personal. And I know that you've got to try pretty goddamn hard not to take it personally. I know that things can change in an instant. They can go from good to bad in a heartbeat, from bad to worse even faster. But they can go the other way too. Things can turn around. It just hasn't happened to us yet. But it will. I've never been to California, and I don't really know what the houses look out there. But I see our place there, 